The stock, stock market fell even further today. The president of several world leaders to try to, try to resolve the problem. In world news, the United Nations disbanded today. Cut. Split your forces. Absolutely not. No, no chance at all. I need all my forces to try and keep my country together. Good to see you again, Mr. President. You again. Mr. General. Mr. President. <coughs> Good to see you again. I'm going to go with my hand now. Good to see you again. Do you have any updates for me? Um, well, my birthday is coming up in two weeks. A man down the war. Nope. No updates. Nope. It's too bad. Nope. Tell me again why I hired you. Alright. Oh, Mary my dog. Anything else I can do for you? Mm -hmm. I'd like a nice soda and uh I'll have to talk to the receptionist outside. Me outside the boat. Yeah, yeah out those doors. Skies up this way. No, no. Out those doors is another room. Where my receptionist is. She's the door receptionist. President! No! <laughs> what the heck was that? Get down! What the heck are you doing? It's okay. Shut up, me! I saw a bee. A bee? Yes. The President of the United States, do I look like I'm afraid of a bee? I don't want to play with B, sir. Oh, I messed up your head. Let me get that. Thank you. Thank you. It's still pretty bad, but no one knows. <coughs> you can leave now. This is my house, sir. This is my house. This is the White House. You can leave now. You can leave. Good to see you. Good to see you. I hope I'm not intruding on anything. Intellectual. Actually, you can't call. General Cooper. 
to see you. Excuse Mr. me? President. You are not know to. What can I do for you, Mr. Prime Minister? Well, I was wondering if we could borrow a few men because we're having a very different process. Who's the I think I'll help your team. I understand we're at war with you, but I'm having, trying to have a political discussion with the Prime Minister of Canada. Mr. Prime Minister. Because we've had a few problems. How many is a few? Well, we took about a hundred. A hundred? Thousand. Thousand? I'm not sure I can... The Mr. Prime Minister! <laughs> uh, Mr. Prime Minister! Now look, near the first room. I'm not sure I can spare that many. I mean, as you can see, we're having difficulties with our southern states. Southern states! I mean, we are having a civil war, Mr. Prime Minister. But I know something you do not know. So what would that be? I am not left handed! <laughs> nice. Very and, nice. And uh, I know that you are in for that, but... The South will prevail! I'm trying to keep my country together. I know, but the British have bailed on us. Thinkers. So can we just buy it? Because we're out of the way again. Get off of me! Let's tell you what. Southern? Tell you what. I'll take care of the Southern General, and I'll have a meeting with the Prime Minister of England to try and convince him to help you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for your kind help. General, get on your feet! Get out of my office. <laughs> Go ahead. Get out of my office. Hello, Mr. President. Mr. Prime Minister, good to see you again. See you again. Just take a seat. Thank you. I asked you here today because I want you to help Canada. Like you said you were going to? Yeah, I remember that. It came. Why? What things? How? Well, you know, we used to be, well, we still are friends with Canadians. They, they were our queen, but, um, you know, they've just changed. They don't give any benefits to the English and took them over. No? So you don't like them? No, not really. No. You want my help in the war? Uh, it would be nice. Maybe we should help Ken. Well, uh, it would be nice if we could help Ken. I think you can. You're not in this war. You're not in the war. <laughs> Well, we have got a bit of a bit of 